What's up, babes? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Now's a great time to subscribe. And of course, if you are already a part of Sunflower Family, welcome back. Now, y'all, I'm jumping right into this video because Eunice is coming hard, okay? I don't know who told them they needed an upgrade, but baby, they got the message and delivered. I absolutely love this pink box. Of course, they did go ahead and throw in some goodies. Y'all, they surprised me. They even got some press-ons, hot pink press-ons, which will be super pretty in the spring. And of course, they threw in some lashes. Now, we're taking a look at their 13 by 4 pre-plucked, pre-bleached, and pre-cut unit. Y'all, I have tried to record this voiceover so many times. It's hilarious at this point. <laughs> they also did go ahead and add in some ear tabs. This is like some tape that will help keep down the flaps of the wig. And, of course, an elastic band, which is going to make sure that it fits really, really snug so that we can wear this glueless. We can use glue. We can use hairspray. But either way, the wig is not going to move okay now right away i was impressed at the way that everything was plucked out and the hair was really really soft you guys can see i'm literally like having to pick this baby up to sit it in position that's just how snug the unit was so if you guys did decide you wanted to do this glueless you absolutely could um the only thing that i will say is that i am usually a fan of deeper bleach knots but i definitely understand why they would not have done something like that um just for obvious reasons of course we want the units to last as long as possible so if you're like me go ahead and just take a little bit of foundation it can already come off of your face okay the brush that you use to do your makeup go ahead and just apply a little bit of that remove that tape little cover and boom y'all look at that and you can tell already i was super excited with the way that it looks the only thing that I will say is that the lace on here that was pre-cut, it was very, very close to what we needed, but truly it needed to be just cut a little bit more precisely. It's not really a big deal. It's something that I don't mind going back and just making sure it is intact and in place, but I did the same thing on the left side as I did the right. So this is just a real quick look, y'all. <laughs> Literally uh, cleaning up my makeup. So pro tip, okay? Sorry, I'm smacking in y'all ears, child. Anyway, I have been uh, applying like a black castor oil with a little bit of tea tree oil as my nighttime routine, and it's been making my skin look so glowy. Y'all can be the judge, okay? <laughs> anyway, here I'm just going in and pretty much just trimming off that extra lace that we have on here. And honestly, I thought that they did a really, really good job of just like presetting the wig to where it looks like this is already like just been plucked fresh, okay? So I don't know if they actually plucked this or if they ventilated the wig in this way. But either way, the hair is still very nice and natural. The hairline is doing what it needs to do. The hair is actually staying in place. So I'm going to go ahead and just take my sticky little secret. This is like their, um, I cannot think of the name of it, but it's very close to like a hairspray. It's supposed to help melt everything into the scalp. And I've really been liking it. It's not overly sticky. The product definitely holds enough in place. Similar to like a gotta be glue spray definitely not as like tough as like a pump it up but it's definitely going to do the job and so of course once you go ahead and just get your elastic band on so that we can kind of get that milk going i always make sure to just double check that i don't have any hairs that are like being smushed up under there because sometimes it gets a little strange okay so once you have that nice and situated all that I'm pretty much going to do from here is kind of assess the hair. I kind of was in between styles. I'm like, do I want to do some type of like super layered look? Do I want to keep it all one length? But I decided to keep it one length because a lot of times... Uh, you guys will get these units and y'all are not as skilled as maybe someone that knows how to layer up their hair. So I would hate for you to spend all that money and then you go in and you start cutting and we mess something up. So this is for the girls that are, you know, new to the wigs. They're really just kind of getting into it and they don't feel comfortable cutting into their units just yet. Um, this is for you. So yeah, I went in with just a hot comb just to kind of make sure that all the hair was kind of smoothed away. Now, if for any reason that product, you know, any of the hairspray that you use um, is still kind of tacky or moist you definitely want to hit it with um, a blow dryer because obviously the steam will kind of cause you to get some burning okay <laughs> so definitely avoid that and yeah use that hot comb to sleep everything down I have plenty of videos showing you how to go section by section so you really really get the hair to lay down in the way that you want to so definitely don't hesitate to check those out 
And then I also went in with uh, some of my working spray. So this is from Kenra. This has been one of my favorite products as of lately. I usually would use their flat iron spray, but that sometimes would be a little bit too moist. So just it being in this more of like an aerosol can really distributes the product. And uh, the only thing that I did here was apply a little bit of that. I brushed it through. I did get a little bit of shedding, um, which is typically normal whenever you're going to be cutting off lace. You're just now getting a unit. That's why I always Always recommend washing conditioning it to really get a feel of what the hair is gonna look like feel like and how it's gonna react but obviously we did have those little tape tabs which is one of those like ready to go throw on and go type of uh, ideas but my advice to Eunice would definitely be to throw in a little styling up in there because if we're gonna have it already preset to just throw on and go I don't really want to think about spending that extra time on now my hair so just a tip okay if that is going to be something you guys are going to do if not i would totally just go ahead and throw in the tape on the side which they did give me a ton of tape like extras that i can use at a later time and all that good stuff um this is my first time ever working with the tape so i'm not sure if they're easy to peel off i'm not sure if when you go to wash them how they react so that will be something that i'll be in discovery mode for um so come back and kind of give you guys information on it because y'all <laughs> okay if I had these when I first started wearing glueless units I would never have to tape not even tape down I would never have to a hairspray my um you know like the flaps down or anything like that I would literally just apply that tape boom and go okay so yes i'm using that working spray because it really just helps seal everything um and helps the hair to kind of look a lot more smooth so it's like an extremely lightweight hairspray it even has a little bit of a shine to it and then all that i'm doing here is taking my um flat iron and literally just hitting like maybe the four the first maybe eight inches of the hair maybe even less than that, just to kind of silk it out at the very base. And then of course, just using the curling rod to kind of curl up the rest of it to really get it the way that I want it to look. So y'all can see how the hair is reacting to the curl. <laughs> One thing that I love about body wave hair is that it is usually gonna just naturally give you a lot more body, okay, hence the name. And then also depending on the density, it's just gonna make everything look a lot fuller. And you guys can see just how bouncy and soft and juicy the curls are. Are. so this was the moment that I was like man I, if I added some layers to this oh my goodness so freaking pretty but here's proof that you don't have to do that you can absolutely leave this in that body wave state and it's still going to be just as pretty just as fluffy and I tried my best not to like overly get this too too straight so you definitely have that choice if, if you want to do like a silk press silk press it out and then curl it it's gonna be even silkier but i really wanted this to be a nice and natural wave that still had a lot of texture and flexibility in it and so as y'all can see that meltdown baby <laughs> is doing exactly what i needed to do so i'm really really excited about that and so i decided that i wasn't going to do any type of baby hair i didn't think that it needed that to be completely honest there were just a few hairs that kind of got trapped down and if you guys look really closely you will still kind of see some of those knots and so all that means to me is that although they did go ahead and pre-bleach it remember I said that they could absolutely do a deeper bleaching but that's going to be something that's up to you so uh, we'll I'll talk with the company so we can kind of sort out ways to make this better because I absolutely love the tape and go idea I love the pre-cut preset, pre-bleach, pre-everything idea. I just really want it to be perfected um, so that when you get it, obviously you guys will know what to do, but this is an absolute great start. So um, we'll figure it out. For now, I'm okay with them adding the tapes on prematurely. I'm even okay with the way that the bleached uh, or the knots are bleached at this point. Sometimes you don't have to go overboard and always remember that foundation, apply a little bit of that up underneath your wig and baby, <laughs> okay and if you guys are wondering i do still have on the true scalp tape so no i didn't have to like glue down or melt down a wig cap because we're protecting our edges uh the one thing that you will want to keep in mind is that if you are going to be using the tapes make sure that you place them in front of your hairline not one single strand needs to be caught on that tape okay keep that in mind <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this definitely leave any comments or questions down below i love you guys so much stay pretty and of course i will see you in my very next video bye babies